Well, good morning. Uh, we are going to head over to Home Depot. I'm going to pick up some uh, LED puck lights, uh, battery operated. They're probably not going to be permanent in the bus, but at least for now, it'll be good to have some way to uh, to deal with the getting dark earlier and have a little bit more light than that little tiny work light gives. Anyway, um, so just warming up the car and we'll head out there shortly. Fun times. Well, I'm going to try to do this. Uh, it's pretty tight in here. Anyway, um, I wanted to check if the seats that I have will match up with the pedestal I have at all. And basically it's a no-go, and I'll show you why. First of all, these are a pretty severe angle because in the trucks it's sitting up on a hump basically and this screws onto the front of the hump and they're at a oh I don't know 30 degree angle or something um, so if I were to use it at all I would have to cut or somehow get this to go down flat and I, I'm not a welder and I don't really feel like cutting and, and screwing with the seat mounts and not having it work. So then I checked basically if we match up at all the top. So I put one of them on a bolt over there. The other one is off by <laughs> quite a bit. So, and then on the back, even if I did have it flattened, let me see if I can I'm switch hands here. Hold on a second. There we go. You know, if I did have it flattened, you can see um, we're still missing by, you know, several inches. So if I were to make this work, it's back on the floor. Sorry, put my finger over the camera too. Um, if I were to make it work, I would have to basically flatten these and put a sheet of metal, bolt this down to a sheet of metal and then bolt that to the sheet of metal. I don't think that's worth the trouble at all. So um, that's going in the dumpster and we're going to keep considering what to do about seats. I might just post these for sale and see if I can recoup at least some of the $100 for the pair of seats because they're nice seats. Um, and if you had an actual way to put them in, then they'd be even better. Um, I'm also going to take a look at um, seeing uh, if a Ford van pedestal would work with Ford truck seats. Um, I'm not too hopeful on that angled bit working at all with a van pedestal. So, I might be back looking for seats again and if I do I'll be looking for something along the lines of a hopefully sprinter or something like that in a junkyard that I can go and pull the seats myself including the entire pedestal I don't care if they're power I don't care if they're manual um, I want something that's an appropriate distance off the floor unlike these seats which are not an appropriate distance off the floor for sitting at a dinette at all. And I'm sitting on one right now and it's, you know, rather uncomfortable. I mean, it's a comfy seat, but, you know, my knees are pointing upwards, you know, like a very acute angle and everything else. This is not, this is not good for sitting long term. Um, so, yeah, swing and a miss, uh, which is unfortunate because these are nice seats. But, maybe we'll just post them online and um, get someone else to have some nice seats. Although I'm not delivering them. Uh, they'll have to come get them. Uh, I don't have a truck to deliver things and I really don't feel like driving the bus somewhere just to drop off some seats. So, we shall see. But, yeah. I'm back on the hunt for that. Figure I might as well try that before we get into anything else. It's a, It is actually fairly dry day today um it's looking like it might want to rain but it hasn't yet at all but you know it's like this a lot in washington so we are generally planning to raise the bus and see if we can get some bolts off without cutting them and then 
we'll drop the bus again and cut off the rest. That's the general plan. So, and we also have coming soon, we haven't done it yet, a plan to create a visual aid to show how many bolts are left and everything else. We haven't exactly decided the format yet, but we did get supplies to do it. So that should, well, might even be in this video later. I don't know. We'll find out, but it's coming soon. All right, time to go set everything else up. So we have seat cover. Um, it's not perfect, but for a $12 seat cover, I think it was, I think it'll do well. It, it actually fits nicely on the bottom. The, the elastics are stretched and hooked together underneath. And there's an elastic from the back of the, the bottom seat too that goes through. Like there's a flap that goes between the two parts of the seat and then elastics on that that are hooked on the bottom as well. We kind of jerry-rigged it a bit with a, a hair, um, hair elastic and all that. The back doesn't quite look right in here. So we're gonna figure that out later and probably like putting more elastic on it to hold these flaps, basically flaps down. And we had to do some surgery, cut a nice big hole, basically all the way up the side of the, of the nylon there to deal with the armor. Hit the wrong button, sorry. Um, but at the top we taped the taped the, the nylon so the the tear we had to rip in it is actually taken care of it's not perfect but it'll do but i think it looks nice it looks a lot nicer than it did before that's for sure um so oh looks like adrian's found something to jerry rig back there what you fixing oh you got some elastic uh no but i figure a couple safety pins under the seat Oh, that works. Just might. Yeah, safety pins to hold to hold the flap down. For now, might might just do the trick. The trick is keeping the safety pin closed, not being able to see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There we go, angle it down, find the edge without stabbing myself with it. <laughs> that is preferable. We don't need new droplets of blood in there. Yeah, there's particular. the first one, and then two, and then three. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. Yeah. Cool. Well, let's do this, and then we can work on the rest of the stuff. All right. Went and took all of the duct tape off the outside, and now I've got aluminum, uh, waterproof aluminum tape on there. Um, going to pop these. Out. Once we get the inside wall out, we'll pop these um, connectors right out. And still gonna need to bond or something like that because it's kind of in. But for now, this gives us a much better, much better seal. These had a whole pile of a uh, whole pile of um, uh, silicone around them, so I scraped off all the silicone I could. And same over here, there's still a little bit of silicone in there. Um, but this is this seal to keep keep the water out much better and. The day does look like it's maybe going to let us, there's a sun up there, it's maybe going to let us actually um, raise the bus without worrying about being rained on. It started to spit a little bit, so we decided to do this first, but probably can do it now. Of course, it's also better if I don't like pop out of the camera app, and we have a visiting doggy. <laughs> <laughs> the doggy decided to come out and, and be sweetie today. She's actually calmed down a little bit. Yeah. Do you want her toy in there too? Yeah, yeah. Okay, one second. Let me, Let me grab a toy. She'd probably be fine, but I don't want to risk it. Have a toy. Good puppy. <laughs> Say hello to the camera, June. Hi. <laughs> Okay, so we now have a scoreboard, um, a countdown board for how much we have pulled out. And so we have, basically you can see the, oh yes, and we also have some puck lights. Yeah, I figured I'd give you some more light <laughs> in the video. You can see we have 
Um, we put on the right hand side, we have all of the bolts, um, the brackets for the right hand side of the, the bus facing forward. And then on the left hand side, we got all the ones for the left hand seats. And we X'd out each of the bolts as they came out. We had one misfire in, uh, in here, but um, we'll get that one later. And then once the entire thing is out, we exit out and count it as a trophy because we got two of them now. Um, and then for each bolt, we mark off how many bolts are done. So we now have a running total and we can keep track of what, how far we are and how much we left we have to go. So we're almost half because a lot of those bolts did come out because they were rusted in there or whatever. We were going to raise the bus today, but the weather just kept on flip-flopping back from rain to not rain to rain to not rain. So we decided instead we were going to hang out in here and set that up and hang with the cute dog. <laughs> so we brought out her bed and just let her go around. And we also cleaned, uh, swept the floor and made it a little bit more dog-proof. <laughs> we still have to keep an eye on her, though. She's a mischievous little thing. But, yeah, so that's... That's what we did for today and, you know, and get the seat set up and the aluminum tape on the outside. So it didn't get a whole lot done, but, you know, we got something done. But, yeah, I think we're going to go inside where it's a lot warmer and uh, relax and consider what to do about seats because, um, yeah. Oh, yes, and got a bunch of uh, battery-powered puck lights. So we have, when it gets dark, we all actually have some house lighting. Not the greatest house light in the world, but yeah, it works. All right, now well, I'm gonna shut her off. Oh, another thing we're gonna do today is we are actually gonna empty that into the dumpster. <laughs> I almost forgot about that. That would be very far too useful. Because, uh, yeah, it's, it's getting pretty full. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll dump that in the dumpster and go from there. <laughs> 